Gary. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffer the man. Cheese as always. Got a new money play for you guys today. An explosive passing play that I guarantee nobody knows about. This is a play that's only found in one offensive playbook in the game, the Buffalo Bills. This is a play that I recently found. The Buffalo Bills is the last ebook that I put out. It's one of the largest ebooks that I put out all year. It's one of the best playbooks in the game. And the play that I'm going to show you guys today is probably one of the glitchiest pass plays in the entire playbook. The offensive formation is out of the pistol trips. Now, this formation, I don't know if it's in a lot of different playbooks. I think it might be in the pistol formation but the play I'm going to show you guys today is only in the Bills. I'm going to start off with just one particular pass play, and that pass play is the PAX Dagger. This play here, like I said, it's super glitchy. It has a, a route concept that you can't find anywhere else. But I got a lot of other plays, like the fake bubble screen's really glitchy, the PA boot. But for now, let's go and let's start off with this particular play. We're going to pick the PAX Dagger, but we want to make sure that our best receiver is in his middle spot, this slot receiver spot right here. So I'm going to have more, I'm gonna have the Hollywood Brown there. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with Tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and you don't want to bother spending money on packs, check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, one of the things I like about this play the most is a lot of times you don't have to make any adjustments. Like against cover two here, you could run this as is, no adjustments. And this Y route here, if your receiver is fast enough, if you have a speed advantage, can get over the top of the safety. Now, that's not something you're always going to want to do. Obviously, the adjustments will make it better. But we can do a lot better to get that, uh, that, that route open. So let's streak the B route, put the X route on a slant. That's all you got to do. And now watch how this Y route gets wide open with nobody even close to him. As you can see right here, I mean, this is just going by five to 10 yards. That wasn't even the most separation I've seen. I mean, that play, however that's play set up, it's just a really easy one play touchdown. We're going to do that again. I said that's that was actually a pretty decent coverage. If I roll in the direction of Tyron Matthew and stuff like that, I mean, look at this. If I throw this ball with a little bit better timing, I mean, he's just way off. And this this guy's gone by about five to ten yards. So super glitch against cover two zone. It can have that same effect against cover two man as well. But this definitely isn't the best cover two man play. There's a better play in this formation. Like I said, hit the like button if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this passing scheme. But let's pick cover two man against cover two man. I mean, you can have a similar effect. Only you have to motion this guy across for whatever reason. I've streaked the X route this time. Now we motion this receiver across, and you're going to see how this Y route gets right past the safety one more time. So we're going to utilize a lot of motions with the receivers that we're not using, but you're going to see how that can get you a little bit more separation. So you got to read the defense a little bit. You can make that adjustment with this receiver as well. As you're going to see, but we're going to do that same motion snap. Motion him across. Get that X route going outside there. And then, like I said, you can see that this safety just bites low for whatever reason. So it really doesn't matter what receiver you motion across. They'll both beat man coverage also. <laughs> so that's the thing. I'm in cover two zone right now. If I motion across the, uh, the the X route, though, it's a little bit better of a man beater to the short side. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that motion snap one more time. Like I said, that route will get open. And the Y route obviously gets open even better over the top. Although there it was a little bit closer. So, like I said, you need a speed advantage. Uh, but you can see how you can get on one play touchdown against cover two here as well. Next up, we got cover three. And we're going to go, we're going to pick cover three sky. Same thing here. We're just going to motion this guy across. Although you have to put the B route on a, a streaker, a uh, fade. I think the fade works a little bit better. But the most important part is motioning across the X route. And you're going to see how this guy here gets across. Just as long as he doesn't get jammed up too much because he did there. But you can see the cornerback was nowhere near. The cornerback was all the way at the bottom of the screen. I'll go. I'll do it one more time. But watch the cornerback over the 10-yard uh, the out route. He is so far gone. Uh, out of the play compared to normal cover threes and this isn't like some cover three plays you got to run from a hash mark you can run this from anywhere and you're gonna have success watch how this receiver drops or that cornerback drops to that to that um that underneath route i mean there's just nothing over here that's one of the most explosive plays against cover two and cover three in the game right now Going to the replay and watching this cornerback, it's amazing because most cover threes, this cornerback will not let anything get behind him. He will shoot back and try to take that away. And to see him this far down 
when this receiver crosses this safety is unreal. There's no play in the game like this where you have a cornerback in a cover three deep outside third this far away from the receiver when you throw it. Also is a very big play against cover four. We'll start off with cover four quarters and we'll do cover four drop next. And we got pretty much the same exact setup as we're just going to motion this guy across once again. That's all we have to do. We're going to motion this guy across, let him get set, and we're going to have the exact same success to the exact same route. So why route? One more time. Like I said, I'm just waiting for him to cross. He's already gone though. I mean, he was just, he just ran right past his assignment. As you can see, I mean, that's just another explosive one play touchdown. Like I said, this is one of the most explosive and glitchiest plays in the game. Just watch what happens here. I mean, this motion that guy across, it just gets him out of position. I don't know how else to say it. If you don't motion that guy across, he actually gets covered really well. So there's something about this formation and making that motion is really what makes this play successful against most defenses. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I mean, it should have success the same way. If you have a, enough of a speed advantage, the Y route will get open at some point. But you can see, I mean, the coverage is tight. Nope. That, that safety does a much better job for some reason than the cornerback. Just simply motioning that guy across, I don't know what it is. It just messes with the with the AI, whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four, which you're seeing now. Motioning this guy across, running this formation, I'm not sure what it is, but that wire out there, it just breaks every single defense. He's already gone. I don't even have to wait very long. I mean, he just runs right past that cornerback for a very explosive one play touchdown against pretty much every defense we've hit so far. And that includes, of course, cover four zone, cover four drop zone, which we'll have to go, we'll go to the dollar formation to find. Now, this play here is the most unique. You can hit a home run against this defense, but I don't recommend it. There's much better one-play touchdowns against cover four. Uh, this one's great against cover two, cover three, all the man coverages. We've shown all the, the defenses it's great against. Cover four drop is not necessarily one of them, but you can still hit a one-play touchdown. You have to make the exact same motion across. You put the X route on a drag this time, and you're going to see how you can have that success. So we're going to do that. This is pretty much the only thing you have to do. That B route does a pretty good job of holding that safety down. You can see if you have a big enough speed advantage, you can get past that safety but if you don't have that much of a speed advantage you're not going to get it done so this is something that you can do but like I said there's better cover for one play touchdowns in the game than this if you have it in your playbook uh, but there's not a lot that's that much that's this much better against all the other zone coverages so we're going to do that one more time like I said short side bomb run from the hash mark to the open side of the field and you're going to see how this Y route here, I mean, this, this route here, he just reacts to that B route. And like I said, it's a slim margin. You can get past it, but you need an elite speed receiver. I wouldn't necessarily try it much either against cover four drop. That's pretty much every defense, but let's go ahead and let's do some man coverages because we haven't done man cover one. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Obviously, man cover one, man zero is going to react the same, but let's pick cover one robber. Just like cover two, only this play, you don't really have to make any adjustments. I would still do that motion just because we've been doing it so much. Uh, you can put that B route on a uh, streak, but the B route's a really good man beater as well. So there's no real reason to take that away. And now you can see the Y route is still going to be a one-play touchdown, although I almost didn't make, I almost didn't run under that ball in time. But obviously cover one man is going to be one of the easiest ones. So without a doubt, this defense here, it home runs every single zone, every single man. Uh, you need to know what you're running a lot of times so you can make the right adjustments. But ultimately, this play is one of the most explosive plays in the game now I did mention how this has you know this play can beat cover two man but the fake bubble screen is an unbelievable cover two man beater so let's go and let's pick that this is specific to uh, cover twos in general and then we'll pick uh, I went over a cover two man there we go we'll go over a cover two man right here I said this play once again I mean the tight ends of man beater there's a lot of really good man beaters but the X route is really where it's at Bateman's probably the worst receiver on the field right now uh, as far as uh, the other receivers that I have, Watkins and uh, Hollywood Brown. But you can see if you watch it, he just goes right around that cornerback. I mean, you really don't have to do much else on uh, the way for him to get there and then basically bullet and pass lead up the field. Although there, I really didn't get uh, the, 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 you know, the speed that I wanted. But like I said, a lot of man beaters on this play. Go ahead, we're just going to basically bomb it up. This guy here, he just basically just runs straight to the sideline. You can see you can have an easy one-play touchdown against cover two man and pretty much any man coverage. Now, that play is very specific to that coverage, but the next play I'm going to show you can be just about any single defense in the game, and that's the Pistol Trips PA Boot. This play here, I'm just going to put the A route on a streak, and you're going to see how pretty much all these crossing routes will get open at some point, man or zone. The B route here is going to be the first one. As you can see, if that's open, I'm going to take it. I mean, man or zone, every route on the left of the field will get open. And I'm just going to kind of read it from front to back. So here we go once again. Like I said, if the B route's there, there it's not. The Y route will be. You know what I'm saying? It's really that simple. One of these routes will get open just about every single time. You can see it's a very explosive play. So this is probably the best counter play. You don't really have to be able to read a defense to run this. I don't have to run specific routes to specific coverages. I'm just really reading front to back over there. <laughs> I threw the ball kind of running with Lamar, which I, I tend to do, uh, and it didn't make the play. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't have to read a defense. That's why I think a lot of people would like a play like this. Thank you. 
is because it's really easy. Just reading the first receiver to the back to the next receiver, one of those two pretty much every single time will be open. So we're going to do that one more time. Looks like we're getting a lot of man coverages, uh, which is fine by me because this play is going to be probably even better against man coverages. I mean, it beats a lot of zones, but it definitely destroys any man. So let's see if we can get some zone coverages before I move on because this play, like I said, it's just super easy. Here we go. Easy, easy peasy. Like I said, that looked like a cover two zone, but it doesn't matter because it's going to get open against everything. So that's pretty much it for the extent of the pass plays, but there's also some really good run plays like the RPO zone alert bubble and the, I mean, the slam's good, uh, but the stretch is probably going to be the best. So let's go and let's pick the stretch. We're going to keep going random on defense. All I'm going to do, flip the play. That's all I got to do. Good run play. Just run it behind the receivers. If it's a zone coverage, you'll have a blocking advantage, which I don't even know what it was because this is, like I said, this is like stealing. <laughs> I don't even really have to know what I'm looking at. But like right here, it's a, if it's a man coverage, you do have times like this where there's no cornerback out here. And I don't really like the running back that I'm using. Uh, I would like, I wish I would have put somebody a little bit faster so I get to that edge a little bit quicker. But there are going to be times where there's no cornerback outside. You can basically just leave it as is. But nine times out of 10, flip it. If it's a zone coverage like this, this is you'll have three blocking receivers to two cornerbacks and that's really going to be uh, the reason that you get outside as you can see right here we just get a very easy run play just about every single time this is definitely going to be best against uh, cover three cover four and man coverages where the cornerbacks typically drop back with the receivers that will give you the best opportunity to get outside as you can see right here i didn't really have a speed advantage and i still got outside so definitely the most consistent run play in the game i would say this is the one that i would run the most no matter what uh, you're looking at and then you see right here there is opportunity to take it inside as well if that guy gets past the cornerback outside there like he did you could always take it out take it up inside it's a very uh good play uh but the first three is definitely outside and like i said you typically have a, a gap right there as well if that guy cuts you off you just got to take it up inside for an easy run there as well here's another one where i can get outside uh because there is no um you know there's no cornerback out here so it's just easy running to the right if you come out there's no cornerback take it in that direction if you do come out and there's a cornerback just flip it and boom you're hitting big plays uh, to both sides of the field and you're basically just you know there's not a lot of reads here i don't have to make a lot of adjustments i don't have to make a lot of moves i'm just sprinting to the edge every single time and then last but not least the last run play that i would use would be the rpo zone alert bubble this is another this is a good inside run so let's go and let's pick that we'll go and go random on d again this play here i mean it's real simple uh it's a simple read no cornerback outside we're going to take it this way once again we're going to run it this way you know what i mean it's, it's, it's there's not much to that it's, it's a very simple setup based off the fact that we have three wide receivers on one side so anytime there's not a cornerback out here i'm going to take it out there if it's a zone coverage or something like this you can basically you got your advantage because you have two cornerbacks to two receivers you got to trust your receivers will get the blocks done but this is how rpo is supposed to be run it's a numbers game you have it's just a simple count Three receivers, two DBs. We're going over there every single time. Like I said, you just got to trust that those blocks set up. If you guy miss, and you can have a very big play. But this is exactly how RPOs are designed. If you come to the line and there isn't a numbers advantage, like here we still have it. We still have two cornerbacks, three receivers. If you don't have that, basically just switch plays. I mean, it's really that simple. Uh, it's, don't put yourself in a situation where if it's three on three and you have a cornerback on the outside or something like that, it's just not worth it. So only run this play if you have a numbers advantage. So I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys wanna see more stuff out of the Bills playbook, because to me, it's one of the glitchiest playbooks in the game. I fully recommend. Uh, if you wanna see more, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, or you guys can check out the ebook link in the description below other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.